Hello folks, this is the Cockney Climate Pripper. Today I'm going to be reviewing this the Vanquist Javelin 3.0 and it's a left shoulder sling bag. So yeah, it's a sling bag, pretty small. I basically bought this about a year and a half ago as my EDC, but to be honest with you, I haven't actually used it that much. I mean, I've taken it on a couple of hikes and stuff, but I was kind of like hoping to just use it all the time. Uh, but yeah, I just haven't got much use out of it. So anyway, we'll be going through some of the features and I'll show you a bit more about this bag. Uh, just to show you, I've put on a foam pouch there, but that comes separately. That, that doesn't come with the actual bag, just so you know. But yeah, basically it's a very rigid bag, you can see. It's like padded all around. Um, so yeah, for some people that might be great, might be what you want to use. The main feature here is really the sling back. That's why I bought it, because you've got one strap there. And then basically the whole purpose is when you're wearing it, you can just like quickly pull it around in front of you and like get to the bag and get to the stuff that you need to get to like very quickly you see so it doesn't open up all the way it just kind of opens up like as you can see just just like halfway that's basically it um, so it's kind of takes a bit of getting used to uh, but after a while like it's not bad I think you, you'll actually enjoy it um, and it's just a great feature to be able to like have it on the back as a sling back and just pull it over pull it in front of you and just take out whatever you need to take out so okay starting off with the features um, it's made out of the usual 100D uh, Cordura so yeah very durable as you can see like feels very great I have a 511 backpack and to be honest with you this one feels a lot more sturdier than the 511 uh, Rush series so starting from the top you can see there's a great grab handle there you can just like grab that whenever you need to and get stuff very easily and then we'll be going through a few of the other features as well I'll show you like all the different compartments uh, but yeah let's start from the back here so I'll take this off so it's easy for you to see basically you've got the strap here which it which has some features if you've got a bladder pack and you want to run through the pipe in there so you can see that that's quite nicely done and then there's a massive I'm not sure how I feel about this yet there's a massive uh, there's a massive clamp to get this shut but but you see, it won't, it won't come off accidentally because it doesn't work like that. You've got to use it two-handed. So you've got to press it there and press it in at the same time, you see. So it'll make sure that it won't accidentally come off, which is good. But at the same time, if you're wearing like a pair of gloves, it can actually be a bit tricky to like try and press that at the same time. Uh, what else have we got here? Yeah, lots of straps. You can see Molly straps here. There's a little handle here for when you pull it around in front of you. Uh, more straps up along here. This is a bit that's, that's, that annoys me a bit because when you've got the bag up tight, basically there's a lot of like loose strap that's just like dangling. So I've just tried to tuck it away, but I guess you could probably cut that and then seal it. But another nice feature is it has here, you see a separate hook, which I've taken off, but I can show you. What that basically does means you can attach a strap from there. So it comes around here like that. And then you can put this on here as well. So it clips into place there, you see. So you've got a strap that clips clips in. So that means when you're wearing it, not only have you got the back shoulder strap, but you've got another one coming there. So it really makes so really make sure that things don't move around too much when you're wearing it. But to be honest with you, I don't really use that much because I find a bag is pretty sturdy on its own. Like it sits on your back very square, it sits on your back very well. So yeah, starting from the back here, got a concealed compartment, as you can see, doesn't open up all the way, just a bit. But yeah, that's basically where you can like put a little bladder pack. It's got some Velcro there as well, so if you want to like stick anything in there uh, with your hook and loop, uh, you can you can do that as well. So very convenient actually. So yeah, it's kind of designed for I guess like concealed carry, but you can just put whatever you want in there. Uh, it's not huge to be honest. I don't know if you can get like a really big laptop in there. You can probably get a small notepad, uh, maybe some papers. Uh, but yeah, it's not a huge, uh, huge space back there. And then also on the inside, inside of the strap, there's a little concealed pocket there if you want to just like keep something handy. So yeah, and then we'll go to the sides before we get into the main compartment. So I'll just open up this little side pocket here. You can see plenty of compartments on the inside. It's got high visibility on the inside, so it's very easy to see things. And then uh, yeah, plenty of compartments. They boast on a the website there's about 35 compartments in this. Uh, to be honest, it doesn't surprise me. There are actually a lot of compartments. And again, you've got the like molly straps there. Uh, plenty of like hooks. I've just put up, put a little D-ring on there. Uh, and then on the back here, you've got two compartments, two big compartments. Top one here has got some paracord, so if you wanted to tuck anything in there. And on top of that, you can see 
there's a little like strap in there as well so if you wanted to like put something in there uh, you can quite easily do that and of course you've got your hook and loop there for your morale patches it's opening up what I like about this bag is you see they utilize a lot of space so like they've put compartments on either side some of these bags you'll see like one side is just empty and it's a waste of space but they've used really used the space quite nicely it's another little space in there and then you've got your little like straps in there as well so yeah great I usually just keep things that I want to quickly get handy in there and then moving on to the main compartment here at the back this is more of an admin pouch on the inside and then there's also a little pouch here again higher visibility on the inside uh, but yeah it's just a pouch I'll show you I just keep my little mechanics gloves in there keep them handy there you go I mean if you did put something else in there they've also done it so that it's quite secure you see you've got the two straps and then you can actually you can actually put those straps through and then just secure that there so you won't have anyone just accidentally trying to like pull down the zip and again some hooks here some straps uh, some more molly molly straps now moving into the admin pouch in the back again it doesn't open up all the way uh, but you can still get to it you see and again it's been designed so that you, you open it from the side you see all of these things have been designed so that it opens up from the side uh, for when you're pulling it around you as a slingback you see you can just quickly get to that quite easily and also get to that and again plenty of space there got some velcro straps in here two separate compartments oh, one, one big compartment with two velcro straps and then you've got lots of space in there lots of little compartments and yeah so plenty of space and another little compartment in the back there so yeah as you can see plenty of little cubby holes to, to put stuff in so that's the back basically done now we're going to move to the front the main compartment so as again as I said I'm used to like clamshell you know having a bag that opens up all the way but you'll see in this one just opens up from the side that's basically that's basically it that's as much as you can open up but let's look on the inside what we've got here it's compartmentalized so you see it comes with these little padded shelves that you can move around because there's velcro on either side which is nice and then you've got a small pocket in here as well velcro whatever you want to keep in there and then there's also another two velcro compartments in here so you see plenty of compartments actually so really useful in that sense um, but it's just about how you use it really isn't it and then this side here is kind of like quite nicely designed for papers and uh, and a little notepad if you've got one so let's see if my laptop fits in there I've got a 15 inch laptop now let's see moment of truth 15 inch laptop does it fit yeah just about you see it's kind of like coming out a little bit on the sides you can see there but I reckon we might be able to get away with it yeah see kind of like just about fits so yeah but I've also got a massive laptop to be honest with you and then what you've got here on the inside as well don't know if you can see that you have got a little velcro strap there you can hook stuff onto and then there's a little space there that goes into the back so if you had a bladder pack goes into that compartment there you see from the main compartment so if, as if you ever had a bladder pack or you had something there that you wanted to bring through now let's see how practical this is so the way I use this is I kind of utilize the compartments and I've got little smaller bags little EDC's that I just tuck in there uh, but I'm not sure how that works to be honest uh, it's not it still hasn't suited my lifestyle I might just take a few of the shelves out and just start using the whole compartment but let's see how we go so yeah now I picked these up from Eagle Creek, they're actually pretty cool, I saw another YouTuber using these perfect sizes actually, Eagle Creek little travel bags you get your different colour codes for all those preppers out there who want to who keep everything organised so yeah let's see how we go move this shelf up a bit alright so first of all let's put our little Maxpedition bags in there fits quite nicely alright you can see that and then what else we've got, let's, let's grab this little Eagle Creek pack in there Got a little travel pack, a little travel pack I keep. Squeeze that in there. And another little travel pack. There you go. So yeah, managed to get a few things in there, not too bad. And that's how it looks from the side when I open it up. So quite nicely organized. You see, you can just pull out the things that you need to. Not too bad. But again, that's if you're using it in this way. If you're gonna have a bag and then have lots of smaller bags in there, you need to think to yourself, have I got too many bags? so that's why I'm saying I might just take out these shelves and just try and start using the whole compartment because I realised that in theory I bought it to use it like this 
But to be honest with you, I'm not really using it that much in that way. So yeah, you see, we managed to get quite a few things in there. You can get a few more things in the top there as well. So yeah, not too bad. So there you go. I managed to get everything in there. Oh, another thing I didn't mention is if you look around, the difference I've, I've seen with the Javelin 3.0 and the 2.0 is there's plenty of straps and hooks all around. You see everywhere. Like everywhere you look, there's a little something that you can like tie stuff to. Oh, that bladder pack we were talking about earlier, you see there's a little gap there. So feed it through and then pipe it through there, yeah? Yeah, that's the main difference I've seen with the, with the Javelin 2.0 and the 3.0. And then the same here, you see you've got a little fastener here, just to make sure you don't accidentally open it. So you can like move the zips up along here, and then you can just strap them in. It's a nice little feature actually, it adds, an, adds a bit of security when you're on the go. That's it, you see, so people can't get to it. Obviously that means you can't get to it as easily either. Now I'll show you how it looks in action. I'll put this on, uh, and you'll see. Alright folks, so I'm going to put this backpack on, and you'll see. Again, as I mentioned, look, it's just really sturdy, isn't it? Really rigid plenty of padding but sometimes I think probably it's a bit too much padding because really it feels often to me it feels like this will be perfect for like a camera bag if you've got like a really big SLR you just saw the compartments you can just like put stuff through there so that's why I told you I haven't really been using it as comfortably as an EDC but to be honest with you I should probably use it more anyway let's put this on and see how this goes so there you go there's my little rigid bag sling it on and as you can see as I mentioned earlier it sits very well, you see at the back there, just sitting very square, very nicely, sitting very square. Even if you're moving around, you see, there's not much movement in the bag. So like if you're running, there you go, that's me running. Yeah, see, it's not moving around. If you're like doing star jumps, see, it's not bad, right? Crouching down, getting stuff. So yeah, it's really not bad. Now let's see if we can try and take this off. I mentioned it's a bit tricky so you've got to press that button push it in now you see it's actually really tricky oh yeah I forgot to show you the sling feature hold on so let's go back here so like yeah let's say you're walking you're doing stuff you need to like get to your backpack so you see they've made it very easy little handle here you just like pull the handle and there you go it's right there in front of you just use it as you need to so there you go just open it up grab the stuff that you need to grab and that's it basically one thing I've noticed if you've got it in your back quite tight when you pull it up around it's actually quite high on you so you might need to have it a bit looser to give you a bit more space when you pull it around it's kind of here because that's the ideal space I think but yeah that's the feature anyway and then let's see if we can take it off as I mentioned before it's pretty tricky you've got to press the button you see that's pretty tricky see that's pretty tricky so of course you've got to kind of like just take it off like that I guess. But anyway it's up to you how you want to use it. I'm just showing you the versatility and just to let you know. Yeah it's really not a bad bag to be honest with you. Like it, like the colour. This is in the wolf grey. Yeah, it's pretty urban for me but it's still quite tactical which is nice. Plenty of straps and molly as I mentioned. But yeah my only pet peeve with this is it's a bit too rigid. And there's a bit too much padding, you know, there's like padding everywhere, on the inside, all around it, everywhere. So probably ideal if you're like carrying fragile stuff, to be honest with you. But yeah, folks, so yeah, that's it, really. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll try and do a review of this against the 511 uh, Rush backpack, maybe, because that's the one I'm using more often. And it's a lot more versatile. But as I said, haven't used this as much, so I do want to start using this a bit more. And uh, yeah, it is actually not a bad bag, to be honest with you. Really nice bag. Again, if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. Let me know if you've got one of these, how you use it, if you found any issues with them, what you like about them. And uh, yeah, always good to keep my fans updated. Thanks a lot guys. See you soon.